everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Spiritual Handyman, where we are putting spiritual tools into the hands of people that need them. Today, we are going to be talking with Crystal Dykert, and she is going to be sharing with us dolphin energy, what it's like and how to connect to it. That's really exciting information to me. I've been looking forward to this interview. Remind everybody that we are available on YouTube for free, also uh, now available on Spotify, so you can catch the audio version of our program uh, weekly on Spotify. And please, uh, when you watch, listen, please like, subscribe, comment, share, be a part of the community, uh, and always please pass any episodes along that you enjoy to people that you think might benefit or enjoy them as well. So let's get to our discussion today. Crystal, thank you so much for joining us on the show. And please tell our viewers and listeners a, a little bit about what you do. Well, thanks, Jason, for having me on your show. I feel very honored and I'm very excited about this interview as well. Um, I am a licensed professional counselor. So I, I am a therapist by trait, but I'm having so much fun bringing this dolphin energy into my clients' lives, into my friends' lives, my family's lives, and really just um, my own life, being able to connect with this beautiful energy. It has no doubt changed my life dramatically over the last three, four years. Well, I would imagine when you bring dolphins in that things do shift in some crazy way because they're they are, are pretty amazing creatures just from the the view that we get you know whether it's oceanside or poolside or whatever but uh tell us a little bit about how this happened for you how did you get into bringing through the dolphin energy well for me it started well my whole life i've always been drawn to dolphins and whales um, i remember as a child everywhere we went i had to get something that was either um, a whale a dolphin an orca um, I had to have something from everywhere we went. I was just always, always connected to them, always loved them. Um, but then my life took, I always thought I was going to be a marine biologist. And then my life kind of took a little change. And I was like, no, you're going to be a therapist. It's like, okay. And then about seven years ago, I was in Kauai um, and we were taking a catamaran ride. And we had um, we'd gone by the spinner dolphins and we're making our turn to go to where we we're going to be snorkeling. And all of a sudden, off in the distance, there were three bottlenose dolphins that started coming towards our boat. And so, um, you know, the catamaran went and connected with them. And there was one bottlenose dolphin in particular that I was like kind of standing at the front of the boat at the bow. And there was a dolphin that just sat right next to me. And he just stared at me for like five, seven minutes. It was... I remember feeling very awkward about how long he stared at me. And, um, and then we went about the rest of the trip. And then if you fast forward my life to about um, three years ago, I had a moment where I was in the shower. There were things that were happening. I was feeling really fearful and I wasn't sure why. So I went and took a shower because I always enjoy the water. And um, kind of went into a meditative state. And half of my body was covered in a golden covered rainbow energy. And the other half was just black. And I heard a voice that said, are you ready to accept this? And of course, I'm like, I don't even know what this is, but who can say no to that? Because that's a pretty cool experience that had never happened to me before. So of course I said yes. And my whole body was covered in this golden cover rainbow. And I was taken back to that moment on the boat in Kauai. And that bottlenose dolphin and I had a conversation. Um, I'm a little... I get a little excited about things. So I was like, I'm going to have superpowers. And, you know, and he was like, well, no, you're going to actually use this in other ways. And, um, and so since then I connected with Linda Shea, who um, actually does dolphin school. And, um, <laughs> and I went through my dolphin attunement process, which was phenomenal in and of itself. And during that process, um, I aligned my being with their energy and kind of was, rebirth with the ability to have my own energy and then also to carry this dolphin energy so that those that I come in contact with um, are able to just connect with that energy more frequently um, or easier and the frequency is available. The, the part that I feel is so magical about me coming into it at that time was uh, with having a conversation with Linda, she was asked to 
um, actually put up some spiritual beacons to kind of broadcast out to find people like me that were more open to this energy and that are here to help spread this energy. Because uh, she's been working with the dolphins for about 14 plus years on bringing their energy from sea to land. And so now I just kind of get to be an extension of that, of helping to broadcast this energy across land so that the dolphins and whales, they don't have to be in captivity to connect with us. We don't have to go to the ocean to be able to see and feel them. We can benefit from their higher vibrational level just by being where we're at. So it makes it more accessible for people who are already aware that it's there. It's a pretty cool way to have the experience anchored and begun and then kind of go back to it, right? Yes. And, and find out what, what was really going on there. And uh, I, I've had the benefit as well of interacting with dolphins in Hawaii, though I, I guess that wouldn't be an interaction. They swam by and I waved profusely. Uh, so, <laughs> I, so I don't know that it was uh, that, that they even noticed. But uh, it was, a, mo it was a, a mom and a baby was what it looked like. So that part was kind of cool. Uh, but no, no deep interaction or connection or staring like what you shared. So Crystal, how has, the, how has your world changed since you've, since you've experienced that and really connected to it and started to embody it? What's, what's different for you now? There are um, so many different aspects that have been affected by I guess it's more just my awareness because the more I look back there's a lot of things that I've done throughout my life that are very similar you know to this way of being and kind of embodying this this concept in the way that um, the dolphins live and the way that things happen um, but the things that have been mind-boggling how different they are um, are just kind of learning about who I am like at the soul level like I've learned um, a lot about my past I learned a lot about like why I kind of have some of the values that I have and like why these things are important to me um, my inner child work has been amazing I've actually um, I've had some past lives quite a few past lives as um, marine animals here the one that is most um, that stands out the most was a lifetime as an orca and I had a lot of trauma that happened when I was a baby orca and so through the journey I was able to go in and kind of heal that past trauma which for me was mind-boggling because it really showed how some of these negative core beliefs and like these fears that I had in past lifetimes how they are very alive in the same lifetime and I've been working through my whole lifetime and it's it's interesting just to see how, even though it's a different life, like these themes still continue to come through and present barriers and opportunities to grow and heal. Um, after I got through the attunements, it was a few months after, um, my husband and I both felt this like new way of seeing the world and kind of like what we wanted our life to be like, what we wanted our family to be like. Um, things that we wanted to take away from it and like finding out how fam how important family really is to us and so both of us ended up quitting our day jobs and we started our own businesses uh, you know most smart people will save up money first and we'll do this very smart like we just it was time we jumped and um, we've been doing really well and flourishing since then so it was amazing to just see how this shift in perception and awareness and also the ability to connect with ourselves and feel comfortable with who we are and what we were doing. It changed our perspective on family, on finances, on society, on, you know, what we want to get out of this lifetime, like what's important to us. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, when this life comes to an end, what do we want to be able to look back on and have be important to us? And so, um, you know, for me, going from working and doing a lot of things and spending a whole lot of time helping other people in their lives, it was amazing to be able to kind of reflect back. And, you know, now I work half as much um, and I live the exact same, but I have all this free time now so that I can actually be there for my family and for my kids and not just for everyone else, which was really important to me. And it was very exciting. And I, you know, I know 100% that had I not gone through this dolphin experience and becoming connected with this energy and spending so much time in the energy and like grounding myself and reminding myself of what, what's more, 
you know, it's not just what we've been taught. Like, what's more? What else can we get out of life? What do I want? And how can I make that happen rather than staying within, like, the confines of society and, like, you have to get a job and you have to pay your bills? You know, like, we're, we're taught these things at a young age, but that doesn't have to be how it is. We don't need to be stressed. We don't need to be um, worried. We don't need to feel shame. Like, there is a life that's kind of away from those things. And that I think for me is the, the biggest transformation that I've experienced. So it, it sounds like a, a shift in perspective and then that shift translated to a shift in your entire life and not just yours, but those close to you and around you as well. That's, that's pretty powerful. You know, that, that's a pretty powerful impact and transformation. It's beautiful. Yeah, when uh, I remember after I went through like the first, there were seven dolphin attunements. After I went through the first one, it was like huge for me. And um, like I kind of relived the trauma and worked through a lot of things that were tied in with that. But then after the second and third attunement, um, you know, I didn't feel much different within me. But then all of a sudden I started to notice like shifts within my husband, within my kids in the house, and just the energy within our whole house. Um, it was it it just changed everything. Everyone kind of got to experience this, and there's so much more laughter and joy. Um, we're able to like work through stressful moments so much faster because you know, let's be honest, everybody has stressful moments, everybody has stressful days, um, and when you have a family, you know, you're kind of juggling everybody's stress with it, and so there's a huge trend transformation within the whole house, um, and I even see it with clients that I work with there were many times where people would come into my office and they would sit in here and things that would come up, you know, I'd ask them, I was like, well, have you had this thought before? Have you, you know, had these realizations before? They're like, no, it only happens when I'm in your office. And that was always, you know, just amazing to me how just by setting a space and holding this energy within my office, it creates, um, it really does create this tender, safe space of non-judgmentalness, unconditional love, and that we are perfect just the way we are. Like our soul came here for a purpose. And it's all the things that have gotten in the way of our soul being able to be who we're supposed to be that seem to cause all these disconnects for people in their lives. And so it's beautiful to have this space and this energy where you're perfect just the way you are. Like your mistakes are amazing. Like let's laugh at how awesome they are. Um, you know, which is just such a different perspective that most people don't have. Like we're so used to beating ourselves up and, oh, it's a problem. We have to fix it. Oh, it's a problem. We have to fix it. Like, no, usually their problems are for a reason. Um, you know, maybe that problem is there because what you're doing isn't the path you should be going on. Maybe there's some resistance there. Like, so let's come back. Um, you know, maybe that problem is there because you need it because you're stuck in some other part of your life. And so you need this problem to stay here until you resolve the other thing and then it will dissolve away. Um, but with having this, with having the dolphin energy to work within there, it just increases the vibrational level of my office. Um, I do laugh. I, I think I have a superpower of making people cry because whether it's tears of joy tears of sadness, tears of grieving, um, tears of excitement, you know, whatever the tears are, tears tend to come up a lot um, because the dolphin energy, it's very focused on our heart spaces. It's very connected with our heart chakras. So whatever is kind of hiding in there um, tends to just come out just from being in the presence of this beautiful energy. So it's, it's miraculous. I've had so many cool experiences that I've gone through, my family's gone through, but then if we start talking about clients that I've worked with, miraculous um, discoveries for themselves, insight, um, ideas of where they want to go, like it's, it's just been amazing. So it, it sounds like the possibilities are kind of endless, but what really is the same for everybody is we, when we work with the dolphin energy or we're in it, is that we uh, we have a change in perspective for for a better outlook, really, a more productive, more positive, more, oh, look what I did, wasn't that funny kind of outlook, right? <laughs> it's, yes. Uh, it yes. Doesn't, we're not so mired in, the, like you said, the, it's a problem, let's fix it, or why am I going through this, or life is so hard. There's a, there's, it's not that it's not difficult, like you said, but um, a lot of how you suffer 
is designed in how you react to what happens around you. And if you're armed with the ability to not take it so heavily, then it doesn't produce so heavily in your world, right? Uh, Absolutely. So, yes. so how would people that, that, that want to experience parts of this or some form of it, I know you've, like you said, you've gone through a number of attunements and classes and those kind of things, but for folks that maybe uh, want to entertain the possibility of connecting with the dolphins, what would that look like for, for someone day to day? How, how can they bring that energy in for themselves to at least get a taste of it? Right? Like just get a taste of it. Um, Yes, it is, it's so, I want to say so easy to get into, but I don't think a lot of people realize when they're connected to it if they don't have somebody with them. Um, and then the other thing that is huge is just like dolphins and whales living in their pods, um, the more unity community that we have, like if you're with someone else, it, it just tends to be so much stronger because there are more people together. Um, there are a lot of different ways that clients have reached this or like people I know have gotten in contact with it. There's so much, it makes me so excited right now because there's so much awareness around dolphins and whales and, and it's not just within aquariums or in captivity. There are, there are meditations available online. I've seen a bunch of them on YouTube that um, kind of, set the tone like it'll have music and it'll have like the sounds of the dolphins and the whales that um playing in the background that is very helpful because some people are auditory and so just by hearing their little squeaks and singings and noises in the background can help connect through a meditative state um there's also videos that are available um i've also found something as silly as like going on instagram and just following you know, like there's a, there's an Orca, Orca channel that I follow because I really love Orcas and I feel very connected with them, but whatever the dolphin is, you can just kind of watch pictures of them and just watch them move and just be like caught up in the moment in the video, in the picture and just notice what feelings come up. Um, I found a lot of it is reflecting on our stuff comes up when we notice how free and happy and like how they can just kind of move. Um, another thing that is interesting and people who are really interested in dolphins are like connecting with this energy. Um, I've found that not many of them know that dolphins are all different. Like there's a bunch of different types, right? And they all have something special and amazing and miraculous about them. Um, you know, a bottlenose dolphin is very different than an orca, which is very different than like a spinner dolphin. Um, so sometimes if you know if there's one that you resonate with, just being able to connect with those kinds of dolphins will also help. Um, most people who are drawn to dolphin energy have some kind of a connection. And from my experience, majority of the time they have a spirit guide that's with them that is um, a dolphin or um, a whale or some kind of cetacean. And so being able to kind of sit quietly and connect within yourself um, is, is a good way to also find out who are your spirit guides that are with. Um, I do also offer like free consultations and I do, I offer meditations as well, um, whether it's on the phone, online or in person. Um, and just by talking with people and connecting them with them, usually getting connected the first time is the hardest, but once you connect with them and all you have to do is ask to bring them in and, um, and they kind of do the rest of the work. My job in that situation is just to kind of facilitate and help people connect with their bodies and help them connect with what's happening so that they can actually bring it in and feel it, not just think about it. Well, that was, that was a lot of great resources. Thank you for, for sharing that with our viewers and our listeners. There's, uh, it sounds like a lot of benefit that is available uh, of, of having perspective shift is something that I always believe can can help you kind of no matter what. But this is uh, th this is a very different type of perspective shift, and uh, I really enjoyed what you said about the different types of dolphins. Uh, not only are there different species that are different, but even within those species, the individuals can be different as well. So the orca that you know and the orca that I know, though, have similarities uh, mm -hmm. have collective experience too. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. Um, one of the most frequent questions I think I get is, do you know that dolphins, um, they're not happy all the time? 
<laughs> and I laugh. I'm like, yes, uh, actually, I do know that. They are like, just like we're all human. We all, all have our strengths. We all have our weaknesses. They're also on this earth for a purpose. So their soul is getting something out of it. So it's not that they just swim around happy with no problems ever. You know, they, they do run into problems within the pods. They do have you know, you have some rebellious teenagers, you know, the males will go do whatever they want. Like, it's, it's so much, so similar to us. And there's so much more information being available to us, that it's not about whether they're a better species, not a better species, like where we're at. It's all really about just connecting and being like, we're all in this lifetime together. We all have to find a way to coexist. And we can all share our strengths and our weaknesses to help each other out. Because there are things we're good at that they're not good at, you know, like, so it, it's definitely a give and a take. And just that understanding of, you know, we're all, we're all here for a reason. We all share the space that we live in. And so how can we have that community? How can we help each other? How can we be together kind of on this journey? And since they function, you know, above the fifth dimension, and we're trying to get our frequency up to the fifth dimension, it's really nice that they can help pull us they kind of rises above our feelings where we get stuck, right? And our thoughts and our feelings. So they kind of rise us above that to help us get through our stuff so we can increase our vibrational level. And as we increase our vibrational level, it works out for them because we become more aware of how our actions and what we do and how we live as a society affects them. And so it kind of comes full circle just by being able to realize we're all in this place together. I love that description. That was really powerful. That that opened up a lot of the understanding for me. I hope it did for uh, some other people as well. That was that was that was really great. Share. Thank you. Uh, I I really uh, connect with their they're working at a at a higher level in some cases. So it's uh, it's good for us to reach out to them because they can help us get there. It's similar to reaching out to angelic energy or to spirit or yeah. mm -hmm. you know to the dolphins and, and if you're very connected to our earth or connected to the ocean and dolphins are your thing or orcas or you know whatever then uh, you know connecting to that is is very much like the eagle or the bear uh, mm -hmm. it's just uh, it's a matter of you know what do you what resonates for you uh, I think so many people easily connect with the dolphins that that's a uh, that and there's such a mystery around them and and an understanding and like you said they're not always just happy uh, the ocean's a big place there's a lot going on there yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, take for granted that their life is always you know hunky dory they have they have issues and problems too some of which is created by man and uh, I'm, I'm sure even more environmental stuff that we would just never understand so thank you for broadening that awareness you mentioned that people could get a free consultation with you and that you work with meditations to help people connect. So how, how do people find you, Crystal? How do they get in touch with you? So I have my website. It's um, www.crystaldeckert.com. And so going on there, there's more information available. Um, you're able to schedule with me. You can outreach me to schedule an appointment. I do offer a free consultation. Um, and as I've done more of this, the reason I do the free consultation is I will meet with people all the time. And it's, it's very interesting how people will always come in for the same thing but they need something a little bit different. So I do the free consultation because it's like, really, what are you needing in this moment and how can I be the most effective? Um, you know, some people need this, some people need that, some people need a little bit of all of it. And so trying to help people figure out what they need is the most effective thing I feel I can do. Because um, I know just on my journey for self-discovery, wanting to go to somebody for some information and they don't have that information or they're not able to give you what you're looking for can be so... Um, I don't know if heartbreaking is the right word, but it definitely is the motivational stopper. And so I do like being able to connect with people, kind of give them an idea, and then also find out what they would like to do. Um, the dolphin energy is amazing. Uh, I do, like I said, I use kind of a meditation. I call them mind-body activities because I try to connect the mind with the body to help the soul come free. So the soul can present through both of them. Um, and so Find, doing a free consultation and then finding out what we need to do next is usually um, the most effective for people. And it kind of gives them an idea and an opportunity to ask lots of questions. Um, but through these 
these activities that I do. Some people will just sit in the dolphin energy and the dolphins will just take them where they need to go. Um, you know, and everybody seems to have a different experience. I had one gal who um, connected with um, a mother and the calf, the baby, and then she connected with her grandchild who wasn't even born yet, who her daughter was still pregnant with, and they had a conversation. Um, I've had some people that connect with, the, with Jesus, with the Christ consciousness. I've had people who connected with people who've passed. Um, and it's, like I said, it's just kind of their space of what they need. If there's heart healing that's happening from whether it was a loss or, um, a change, whatever they're grieving within their heart space, sometimes that will come up. Other times it is just the dolphin energy makes them feel so safe that they can then connect with me and share um, about things that are pretty vulnerable that they don't feel safe talking with anyone else about. And so then from there, we go kind of a different approach where the dolphin energy is there and is protecting us and allowing us to bring up these things. But then we facilitate the conversation in a different way to get them what they need. So um, I wish it was as simple as being like, yeah, we do these meditations and everyone is like, yay, and we go on. Um, <laughs> we well, gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> we gotta start somewhere. And it really is, um, it's really an experience for everyone. Uh, you know, I've done multiple fairs, I've seen you at them as well, and like everyone that I connect with and everyone that's drawn to this kind of energy and this kind of healing, they all need something different and they all have their own unique experience and it's profound in its own way. Well, it's beautiful that you're bringing it in and making it available and, and sharing it with people. You're clearly deeply passionate about that and, and getting the, the opportunity out there for folks is, is how we spread the word, right? Uh, yes. So thank you for, for being the liaison for the dolphin energy uh, for our planet, you know, the one, one of what is the growing many. Uh, would you real quick spell your website out for us, the, the Crystal Die Card? Yes. So it's my name. It's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. And then my last name is D as in diamonds, E-I-C-H-E-R-T. Perfect. Com. Perfect. And I will be sure to include that in the description. So if anybody uh, wants to, you know, click on the link from there, they can, they can get directly to you. And Crystal, thank you again so much on behalf of our viewers and listeners for channeling this energy and bringing it forward and, and sharing your experience with us. We really appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. And thank you for having your show. It's so awesome to be able to get all of these amazing different things that people offer and getting those into the, the hands of people that need them. It's amazing. Thank you so much as well. Well, thank you. I, we appreciate the recognition. It's all about building a community that shares information openly and freely and gives us access to lots of different things, which is why uh, I felt like you, Crystal, and your dolphin energy was such an amazing fit. So uh, thank I you so much. Mutual, mutual appreciation and admiration. Yay. <laughs> Always a good thing. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for being with us. Uh, we hope that you will listen and uh, view and take the time to like, comment, share, and get involved in the community. And we will see you in the next episode. The Spiritual Handyman, bringing spiritual tools to the hands of the people who need them. Sponsored by the Eagle Heart Foundation. The Eagle Heart Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that brings charitable contributions and educational enhancements to the people. So how can you be a part of the Spiritual Handyman and the Eagle Heart Foundation? The Triple Win Situation. This book was written by Granddaughter Crow and half of the proceeds go to the Eagle Heart Foundation, which in turn sponsors the Spiritual Handyman. How to get it one? It's on Amazon and Kindle for only $9.99. So we are here to bring tools to you. Uh, thank you so much, Spiritual Handyman. We believe in what you do.